so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. fighters in the world, and what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight, but if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division, and Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Javier well, Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early, DC. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. And that's how it's done. Go and get that takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Well, very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level work by Coleman. Changing the position. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. In the half guard. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Takes his back now. Try to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the shot. Oh, the triangle is in. And not only does he have the triangle, if his opponent circles the wrong way, he can even attack an arm bar. This is a very big advantage position for this fighter. This is a terrible position. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nurmago Medov. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Nurmago Medov's in half goal. Just over two minutes, round one. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the feet. They may be tired, but that tired and their fatigue is warranted. That was a high-level grapple exchange between two phenomenal grapplers. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants it to. Big shot lands for both guys. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice change up on the tempo there as the hook in the clinch lands by Nurmagomedov. So once again, Khabib Nurmagomedov dominating the opposition here tonight. Tremendous grappling ability, and he does a lot of things that the average fan can't even see. Johnny tells you. He also tells you what he is going to do. The game plan is not a secret when it comes to Habib. He's going to get in your face, he's going to press, and he's going to take you down. He's been very successful in doing that tonight, and that's why he's winning. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Khabib's looking for that arm triangle now. Oh, that arm triangle. 
was wicked tight. He's starting to get it in very deep. He's up. What's the defense on this play? And now he's got the bat. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to watch a guy comfortable even when he's under attack. Beautiful transition. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got here. Round two straight ahead. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round here. All right, next round is underway, and man, is he tough to submit, right? No lack of effort, but unable to get that submission in the previous round. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic, which allows him to defend with the right frame of mind, and that's why he's never been submitted. All right, well, perhaps he has a point to prove. Perhaps there's a hip injury, but this man's UFC career has been defined by the takedown. He hasn't attempted a single entry. He hasn't even attempted it. it. It's very surprising, and honestly, for a guy, that enjoys the wrestling is very disappointed because to me it seems like he doesn't want to put the effort out there tonight to try and secure takedowns. You take a lot of risk by not using your best skill and you almost put your opponent on your... He's setting up a submission attempt. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. The speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, nice. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just over three minutes to go in round two. And look at him post on the opposite side to give himself the right distance to land these beautiful knees. That side of his opponent, nicely done. Oh, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good getup, but not sprawling, not stopping the shot. He's got to sprawl earlier. He's got to defend. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Oh my goodness, he might have. It. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was going to lose his position. He got to maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Nurmagomedov gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Really good emphasis on that kick there. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing his skill every single day. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Both guys appeared to land there. Oh, man. Oh, a little 
a single collar tie there. A good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding a target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. with that hook. He's gonna have to change some things here. Oh, nice kick. Found a hole for that punch. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm landing those nice, beautiful punches. Oh, good work with the knees here by Nermago Meta. Under a minute to go. Come on, let's work. I'll break you guys off. The fighters separate. He's got that single collar tie. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. DC, that could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful. Oh, that's guillotine here. And oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, look at this. Jumps over into side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe go for a great submission defense. Oh, oh, now lands a kick to the hey, bottom. Stop. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting Great taken fight. down back to the mat again. Great. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Good punch land. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Huge knee land. Well, how about this striking display tonight as he lands yet another knee right there. Several have already landed in this round, and you can see they're really starting to take their toll on the opposition at this point in the fight. Oh, Zab really enjoyed that one. What goes up must come down. Man, I mean, what would what would that do to me? I'd be out like half a year, bro. You'd be done, John. You would not be calling fights. You would not be working anymore. Oh. Your back would be out. But no, people get mad when somebody wrestles too much, but they always enjoy slams like that. Coleman's in half goal. Good, solid strike on the ground. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together. It all comes together. Nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on and changed here, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Oh, effective use of the jab by Nermako Medov. Oh, he's doing a real good job of letting him off the strikes, too. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Right into side control. Oh, Kimura attack. Yup. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, nice straight punch there by Coleman. Beautiful head kick lands for this guy. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Another big takedown. Nice 
Nice shot there by the champ. Coleman gets back up again. Oh, good combination. Very efficient with his strikes today. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. He gets to the single collar time. Look at the wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Well placed kick there by Cole. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Fighting from your range is so important. Beautiful punch lands again. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. 90 seconds to go. Tags him with the uppercut. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Another one. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nurmago has got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. All right, he's in a half-guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage up. All right, setting up for a finish here. Ooh, that looks tight. Ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Coleman. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive rest. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Well, I'm no expert, but you can't work that patented ground and pound unless you get the fight to the canvas. He hasn't even attempted a take. He has not even attempted a take. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Nice pass. Right into side mount. Nurmago Medov's now trying for the Kimura. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. That submission. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Coleman's in half guard now. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. Coleman gets pounded here with these elbows to the head. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Beautiful jab lane. Oh, nice uppercut from the champion. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Leg kick. Another leg kick land. Oh, nice. 
right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Nice shot, lands downstairs. You know, when guys start to tell you, kick me here again, they start to posture. That means that what you're doing is actually taking an effect on them. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. You gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Now he's going full mount. All right, half guard position here, Dees. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Work, Under two work, minutes to go. Referee will help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of mount, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of his position. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in, and largely DC, that's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control really starts to wear at the gas tank of his own. Quick jab. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shoot this shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now. Because the oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon is shaking. DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors huh. because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Nurmagomedov's in half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about done. This guy is a triangle expert. He got it set up. There's the time. The winner by submission. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission, he squeezed, and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it, Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle Nirvana Meta. All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Habib Nirmago Meta. You heard it there from Buff. He gets done by submission tonight. I mean, this is a world. When you're having to grapple with Habib Nirmago Meta,